it is time for yet another exciting episode of How's the Market? This is where I'll get you up to date of what's happening in our housing market here in Brevard County and also the Cocoa Beach area. And if you've been keeping an eye on some of the headlines, there could be some changes coming. And I'll get into all of that right after this. If this is your first time here, my name is Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here in Cocoa Beach. Besides making videos like this, I also help people buy and sell real estate. And if you have plans of either buying or selling real estate, I would love the opportunity to help. Let's get on with this market update video. So if you have been seeing any of the headlines, there could be some changes happening in the real estate market. I'll be covering more of that at the end of the video. But first, let's break down the housing numbers for Brevard County. Our active inventory is at 1178. We sold 1,357 properties and our month supply of homes are 0.87, just under one month supply. Average price for 2022, 426,000 versus 339,000 in 2021, which is a 25% increase. The median price in 2021 was 355,000 versus 272,000 last year, which was a 30% increase. And our list to sell ratio was just over 100%. Average price per square foot, $240. And the average days on market was just over 15 days. We had 906 properties selling in seven days or less. We had 38 properties sell for over a million dollars and the highest price was 4.39 million in Melbourne Beach, which was new construction. We had 41 homes sell for under $200,000. So as a breakdown of what's happening in Brevard County, Let's look at the Cocoa Beach Cape Canaveral condo market. Right now, active inventory. We have 61 condos for sale, ranging from 149,000 for a one bedroom in the plaza up to 2.5 million new construction in South Cocoa Beach. We sold 49 condos for the month of May, ranging in price from 159,000 for the Atlantic Gardens up to 850,000, which was seventh floor direct ocean in Windward East. We have a five week supply of condos on the market. Average price sale, 408,000 in 2022 versus 338,000 last year, which is a 20% increase. Median sales price, 375,000 versus 315,000 last year, which is a 19% increase. Average price per square foot, 343 bucks. Average days on market, just over two weeks. Four condos selling for under $200,000. Our best selling complex was Twin Towers with four sales, followed right behind with three sales at Villages of the Seaport. Single family home sales in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. Active inventory, we're at 24 homes on the market between 535,000 up to 2.2 million bucks for oceanfront and Cape Canaveral. We had 17 homes sell last month between 465,000 to just over 2 million bucks. Puts us at a 1.4 month supply of homes for sale. Average home price in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral was $826,000 versus $733,000 last year, which was a 12% increase. Median sales price, $657,000 this year versus $650,000 last year, which is barely a 1% increase. Average price per square foot, $454. Average days on market, just over 26 days. First time in three months, we had one home sell for under $500,000 and we had three homes selling for over a million bucks with the highest price being new construction Lorem Village in South Cocoa Beach. So there's your breakdown of what's happening in Brevard County and of course the Cocoa Beach Cape Canaveral area. We've had a 30% increase of active inventory since the beginning of the year. We've got about a 10% drop in our closed transactions this year versus last year. So that trend is going down. Let's say these trends continue. What if our inventory rises to 3,000 to 4,000 active properties for sale at any given time and our sales went from 1,400 last year to 1,300 this year, it ends the year averaging 1,000 per month. So we have 3,500 properties on the market for sale. Only 1,000 of them are closing every month. I say those numbers really aren't so bad. If you go back and look at our sales and trends from 2017, 2018, and 2019, you'll see in those three years, we were 
anywhere between 3,000 and 4,000 active properties for sale, selling about 1,000 a month, which puts us at a three to four month supply of inventory available, which is still a seller's market. So even if we do have changes like that, we're still gonna be in a fairly healthy market here in the county. We actually need these kind of changes because the last 18 months have just been ridiculous ridiculously crazy with how quickly properties have been coming on the market going under contract and the prices have been escalating at a very unhealthy rate as well it's great if you're a seller a little bit of a concern if you're a buyer plus with the rising interest rates definitely makes it more of a concern and something that buyers are looking at a lot more often so i've been using the example or the phrase the market right now is tapping the brakes what i mean by that is we've been on i-95 just going 80 plus miles an hour down the interstate it's been very fast very active things are just flowing really quick now it's kind of like driving on state road 3 heading north over the barge canal and the drawbridge is up traffic has slowed down a little bit it's getting a little backed up but as soon as the bridge goes back down which could be the interest rates traffic will start flowing again so we are going to have a little slowdown we're going to have a growth in inventory but this is all good things so what does this mean if you're considering selling your home prices are still high compared to where they were two years ago. The increase in interest rates and the little building of inventory, it could, it's gonna slow things down and slow the trajectory of values instead of being like this, it might level off, maybe dip in some areas, but I don't see a tremendous price drop going on here in Brevard County. And for buyers, homes are still seeing multiple offers. So if there's a property that you like, you do need to present a good strong offer. You could probably extend your inspection period from the five days to the seven or 10 day range. Appraisal gaps are still a consideration until the value levels off a little bit more and appraisers are coming in more at contract price. Houses are taking a little bit longer for them to sell, but they are still selling rather quickly compared to where they were two or three years ago. So if you do like a home, make certain to be ready to present your offer as quick of a manner as possible. We had more homes come on the market in May than we've had in since 2018. So that's a good thing for buyers, more of a selection, more properties coming on the market. So even though there are changes that are happening, I do not see with what happened in our market in 2008, happened today in 2022. Time will only tell the impacts of the economy and our real estate market in 2023 and beyond. But right now in Brevard County with everything that's happening at the Space Center and everything that's going in and around the Melbourne airport, our economy here local seems to be very strong and there are people moving into the area. So I see our housing market still continuing forward as a strong market, just not as hectic as it was in 2021. So that's my overview of what's happened for the month of May and what I believe is gonna be carrying us through the summer months towards the end of 2022. If you do have any questions about our real estate market, whether you're buying or selling, I would love to hear from you. You can call me, you can text me, you can comment below. If you're on social media and are on any of these sites, you can find me there and send me a direct message. However you like to communicate, I am great with. And if you stuck around this long, you probably like what you're hearing. If you haven't done so already, you should consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm also queuing up two more videos here for you to watch next. My name is Eric Larkin with Real Brokers here in Cocoa Beach on the Space Coast. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next show.